Shaker Sweet here, and I am ready to give your bank account another reason to hate me. So let me start by thanking Artisto. Uh, you're going to love this. You know, I am one who will get pulled in easily, like several of you, by packaging. And when you see this, this to me is amazing. I absolutely love the design of this tin. When I saw it, I looked online for this and uh, I thought this was going to be a cardboard box. And then when I looked into it closer, I realized these were tins and it ended up that they have this and I think a couple others, each of them with a different color and uh, different character design. Absolutely beautiful packaging. So I want to jump right in here. So it comes with two high quality pages. Let's see this. Okay, here we go. Uh, this shows some of the stuff that they have out, which include uh, like watercolor pencils and notebooks or sketchbooks, maybe art books. This right here, we have all the colors laid out and as well as a color guide, mixing guide, blending guide, sharpening guide, typical. Again, good quality, but let's jump right into this. There we go. Okay, something I absolutely adore is when a when the uh, company puts a swatch sheet in with their pencils. Um, I usually make my own, but this is a huge, huge plus. And this is, I would say, this is close to a color pencil paper. Um, this is, it's not a smooth or slick cardstock. This has a little bit of tooth to it. So this will definitely make uh, for a beautiful color palette. The inside the lid, we again have the colors. Okay, so now we're talking. Now we are in a stage of elegance. They have a, a sheet of um, a foam and it's held on by the Artisto. It's like a little clear mat that really what this is doing is pushing and keeping these pencils secure uh, for transportation. Uh, so this is, again, this is one of those things. A lot of the pencils will have the rice paper uh, that's in there. Just some of them just say thank you. Some of them have the name brand. This, this is going a step above and beyond. This is not just some flimsy piece of plastic. This is a nice quality sheet for no other reason than to show high quality and for transport. This, I, I, I absolutely love this. Let's look at the pencils. Me being me, the very first thing I'm noticing, as simple as it is, you know, it's the little things. What I love about this, all of these pencils are face up. Uh, this is something else that's done with love. Some of the videos that I do this with, uh, I will turn the pencils up to give the pencils uh, the best look I can. I have not touched these at all. And this, this is beautiful. Let's jump into it here. It's a decent quality plastic. Oh, this is, these are nice. These are nice. Let's jump one more in. And again, all of them face up. Got a couple of metallics there. Golly, these are, these are nice. Let's look at one. Let's grab this pink here. So what we're looking at is the barrel that matches the lead. It's another, uh, it's a gold inlay. I like these a lot. Uh, we have magenta, so we do have the pencil, the color name, as well as the number, the organization number. On the back, we have the logo. We have premium. Uh, this is a premium soft artisto. Now, from what I understand, just from the little research I did uh, as receiving these, is these are an oil pencil. But I'm really curious if this is going to fall into that category of um, like a, what is it, a grizzly or a... Um, what is it, the, the, the Posco? They, they're claiming to be one or the other, but they're so right in the middle of a, a wax and an oil where they balance it really well. So I'm going to be extremely curious uh, to see how, how these go down on paper. Let us jump ahead and talk about these colors. Uh, I can, without a doubt, say I had fun with these. This is a set I really enjoyed. You know what they reminded me of? 
They reminded me of Neoni or Mark Art, which I love Neoni. Uh, this had that same feel, but dare I say, these were a little creamier. Uh, the Their yellows and their, their, I think, greens are almost like butter. They're very silky. You don't pick up the grit in them until you hit towards the, the dark blues and the, uh, the, the dark greens, but like the yellows and the reds, they were like silk. So I, I really enjoyed using these. Um, let me point out a couple of things. So this is a set that I put together. I like uh, when I'm swatching, I design my swatch sheet and uh, I group my colors in, in families. So this right here will be something I use personally for myself that makes my future easy when it comes to coloring. Let me point out a couple of things that when dealing with a, a small set, like a 72 set, uh, things that I, you know I, I was pulling for. So as I'm coloring it, if you notice these two purples were very similar. These two yellows are very similar. The two grays are very similar. These two greens are very similar. I, I was really pulling for a big, big range of colors within that 72. Do not get me wrong. Uh, there is a difference between these two yellows. There is a difference between these two purples and these two greens and these two grays. This one's earthier. This one has a little more blue in it. This one's a little darker, but they are still, as you can see, very similar. I would have been hoping for a purple that's maybe in between these two. There's such a big jump there. Uh, maybe a yellow that was even softer than this, somewhere between these two. Same thing with the gray, maybe even more earthy to it. Uh, but I, I am not complaining. That's just, that's just me nitpicking. And why am I nitpicking is because I enjoyed these a lot. Um, let me jump to something. I made the comment earlier about the uh, pencil. I said, oh, there's a metallic. This is not a metallic. This is the pencil that caught my eye. The paint job on it is metallic. However, this pencil is moose wood. This is this color right here. It, it's it's a, a, an earth tone. I was so glad that this wasn't a metallic because that had just been more colors in a small set that I'm not going to use that would cut down my numbers even more. So there are no metallics in this. Sorry for those who like them. I don't. That made this set to me even stronger. Something that that kind of threw me off and I've got to share with you. This color here, sky blue, 326. I couldn't find it. I was looking and looking. And finally, this color here, 326, is Castletten Green. So I, I don't know if the paper's wrong or if the, the labeling on the pencil's wrong. This completely threw me. Again, not a deal breaker. This is just a hiccup that they had somewhere along the way. Something was misprinted. It's probably the color I will use the most of. I just thought it was odd that the name didn't match the swatch sheet. In fact, I think the swatch sheet is probably correct because I don't think they would label this one as a green. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to point that out because again, that was, that was unusual. These pencils, they blend well. They layer well. Like I said, they're they're really soft. They they they're in between a Naoni and maybe like an Artex. Uh, they're they're wax. They're oil, but they handle a little bit more like wax. They are definitely in between that grade of where you have a, a professional and a student. They're they're in the middle uh, of that range. I enjoyed these. Uh, it was that thing that it's a good problem to have when my biggest complaint is I just wish there were more of them because they, they were fun to use. I was getting some really fun color combinations out of these and I just found myself enjoying them. And again, they're a gorgeous pencil. Uh, the All the writing, every bit of the writing, none of it's coming off, none of it's worn down. It's all perfectly placed. The numbers are close to the end of the pencil, so they'll be the last thing to go when sharpening them. My hat goes off to little details like that because that shows someone who likes pencils is making pencils. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give these a big recommendation. I would suggest if you like a good oil pencil and you're looking for one, if this is in your price range, go ahead and jump on these. This is Artisto. Sugar, sugar.